Well, hello and welcome to day two of the Ho'oponopono Cleaning Challenge. My name is Barb Nash. I'm your certified advanced Ho'oponopono practitioner. I created this group to share the healing power of Ho'oponopono with all of you. And I created this challenge to intensify the cleaning power of Ho'oponopono for all of us. So I hope you're excited and I hope you're writing in your journals every day everything you want to clean on. And today I'm going to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to close out with the five minute cleaning meditation and I'm going to um, start with talking about the, the ways of cleaning and what the Ho'oponopono is or what it means is to um, to correct an error and what are these errors these errors are the they're the memories that are going through our brain because the the memories are the things that are causing the problems that we want to fix and how do we fix these these memories we need to clear them out by saying the phrases and you can also just, um, you can use, I love you. You can just say, I love you. I love you is, um, it's, sorry, I keep referring to my notes here because I get a little nervous when I go live. I don't know why. Um, it's repentance, forgiveness, and transmutation. And that's what happens when you say, I love you. And it's, clearing out those memories that are causing the issues with you and you know and it brings you when you're clearing out the memories it brings you to zero and um, zero is you're perfect you're in touch with the divine um, it, the zero represents the zero point from quantum physics um, it means that you're a blank slate. You're nothing. You're nothing. You're infinite. You're perfect. And that's how we all come into this world. And when you're at that zero place and you're perfect, you're in touch with the divine, and which means you receive divine inspiration because you don't have those memories getting in the way and blocking the divine inspiration. And what is divine inspiration? Divine inspiration is the perfect information or knowledge for you. It's the perfect information that you need to navigate through your days. It's the perfect information that you need to make decisions. And this is why we have issues. This is why we have problems because we're not making proper decisions and things keep happening to us. And when we clear out those memories, we erase them and we make room for the divine uh, to speak to us, then we are in touch with ourselves and we're in touch with God or the universe or prana, the chi, the ether, and we're able to make the right decisions. We're able to navigate through life in a way that benefits us and it all starts with you because you are the center of your universe uh, I know that we've uh, this is another thing that's been conditioned out of us we're told the world doesn't revolve around you but it most certainly does revolve around you um, it revolves around each of us each of us are our own center point of the universe and being that the center point we're all the zero point and we are all the beginning and so that means that all of the issues and problems that we perceive that come into our um our recognition that we we see them where we acknowledge them we notice them then we're responsible for them and because they're a reflection of us and 
they're a reflection of all of the things that are in us and that goes down to a cellular level and we know that on a cellular level we are carrying memories from our ancestors we're carrying memories from the past and these things block us from the divine they block the information from coming through and I know for most of us we're not blocked 100% of the time we do get uh, bits and pieces of divine inspiration throughout the day but do we really realize that that's what it is do we realize that we're receiving our information from the divine our higher self our higher conscious or super conscious the, the super conscious which is directly connected to the divine which is where we come from so we are perfect we're created in God's likeness so we are perfect but it's all of the the memories that that we carry with us that cause the imperfections so it's not us who are imperfect that's not us it's not you that's causing the problems it's your memories that are causing the problems and this is why you want to just say I love you and when you say I love you the divine will reach in grab those memories and shoot them back to themselves it'll you know transmute it into the energy which is what we all are is energy and so that's what when we say I love you that's what we're doing we're cleaning and I think I, I put some posts up about saying just say I love you it doesn't matter who you're saying it to just feel it just feel the love and beam it out and the other thing the other form of cleaning is just saying thank you whenever you say thank you you're you're taking a memory and you're cleansing it out of your your brain and you just say thank you and appreciation and you can say thank you in any language you know you can say thank you in any language that you know or just you know just say gracias mahalo you know merci merci beaucoup you know when you say thank you in any language that you know those happen to be the languages that I know how to say thank you in um, you're cleaning and when you're clean the divine reaches in takes those memories and you know resets it into itself and it resets you to zero which is when you when we're zero we're perfect and we are in touch with the divine and when we can be in touch with the divine and we can receive the inspiration from the divine we are receiving the information that we need to to navigate through our lives to make the decisions that we need to make um, it will help us make the right decisions it will help us make the right moves um, and I hope that this is coming clear to you and your understanding that when we say the four phrases of the whole Ho'oponopono, that's just one way to clean. You can just say, I love you and you're cleaning. You can just say, thank you and you're cleaning. And so I just wanted to give that to you as another way to to clean to think okay every time I say I love you to somebody or something you know I say I love you to your computer say I love you to your home say I love you to your car you know just spread that love because it's it doesn't cost anything to spread love and the payback is huge for you so I hope that uh, this is all making sense and maybe we should start the five minute cleaning and one other thing I want to say is have you been noticing 
your thoughts as you, when you write down in the journal the things you're cleaning on? Are you noticing your thoughts throughout the day? Are you noticing things getting kicked up to you? And are you, or are you noticing that as you say the Ho'oponopono throughout the day that you're, you're experiencing less noise going on in your brain. I really want you to think about this and write your experience in the journal. Write, you know, how much self-talk you're experiencing or how much self-talk you're noticing. And, you know, say something in the comments of this recording. Let me know how it's going. So let's do the cleaning. I'm going to start timer and the Tibetan bells or the Tibetan bowls I mean I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you.
love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. All right, that concludes the five minutes of hope on abundant cleaning for today's day two challenge. Now, I would like to invite you to invite anybody that you would like to share this challenge with or share the group with. Um, and I'd also, you know, ask you to put down in the comments that you are, you know, like just list what you're cleaning on if you care to share or just say hi, let me know you've watched it and let me know you're enjoying the challenge or you're excited about it. And I will see you tomorrow for another day of the challenge and I will give you some more cleaning tips. All right. I love you. Have a good day and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.